Hello, welcome to Web of Stories. My name is Melinda. It is Tuesday. Well, you'll see this on Tuesday. It's actually Sunday night. <laughs> it's Tuesday. We're going to call it Tag Tuesday. Now, earlier this, like an earlier video, I said I wasn't going to do any tags this month. Um, and that was a plan. But then um, today is Sunday and I don't normally post anything on Sunday, but I started getting a lot of comments. And I was like, well, that's weird because I don't usually get a lot of comments on days that I don't post anything. And then I realized that I had accidentally posted the video I had planned for Tuesday this morning <laughs> on Sunday. So we're going to have a tag after all. Um, I have some tags kind of in the hopper to do, and I was just going to wait until January to do them. But we're going to get the next one going, and this is a great one. This one was created by Caitlin at Bandy's Books, and this is the kindness tag. And uh, it has eight prompts plus, you know, tag people. Um, before we get started, just to let you know, the kids are decorating the Christmas tree in the other room and I've challenged them to do it as quietly as possible. So we see that works. They could be quiet or there could be World War III. Don't know, but we'll see. So the first prompt is, how do you practice kindness in your day-to-day -day life? <clears throat> well, I try to give people grace and I try to think about the best in people. Um, you know, I sort of, during the pandemic, when everything was just hard, you know, that. The stores were empty and shelves and people couldn't get what they needed and all this. I just started thinking everyone's doing the best that they can. So when I'm in a store or something and I'm not getting the service that I think I deserve or whatever, I just say, you know, they're just doing the best they can. And that helps. It just, it just helps put me in a better mood. I try to be pleasant to strangers. That's always, you know, smiling at people. Like as you say, excuse me in the store goes a long way. Um, actually, it was like right before Thanksgiving, I, you know, walked by someone and said, excuse me. And they're like, thank you for smiling. People just don't smile anymore. So smile. Um, and most importantly, um, I teach my kids the value of kindness. I try to model kindness and I encourage kindness in them because we want to, the world is not a kind place right now. At least it doesn't feel like it sometimes. So you want to teach that skill and that value to my children. So Question number two, what is the kindest thing that's happened to you on booktube? You know, every time someone tags me in a video, cause I just know, I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm asking for people to tag me. That's not the point of that. But I'm just saying when I'm watching a video and someone says, oh, I'm I got this recommendation from Melinda or I got, um, I'm going to tag Melinda in this. I'm just like, oh, thank you for thinking of me. That is so sweet. Um, so just, you know, just to remind you that we're actually people on the other side of these screens and not just figures on a screen. I'm not sure what that sound was. Number three, who in your opinion is one of the kindest booktubers out there? So I had to think about this one only because it says one. I can think of a lot, um, but I'm only going to name one. I'm going to be good with the rules and I'm going to say Kelly at Books I'm Not Reading. She is so incredibly supportive of other booktubers and so encouraging. Um, I love her channels. She's very honest which I, I think is um, a hard skill sometimes on, on YouTube or any kind of format where, you know, social media format. It's hard sometimes to be honest. And she is very honest. Um, she's just such a, a good person. I, I, I just, yes, she's a sweetheart. Number four, what's a book that's, that's reminded you to be more kind? So the first book that popped into my mind was The House on the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. So I read this a couple years ago with a book club and I absolutely loved it. Just a story about accepting people and valuing, valuing people. Um, it's definitely a book that I think more people should read. I mean, I know on BookTube, everybody seems to have read it. It's a very popular book in sort of bookish communities, but um, I don't know many people who have read it and said that it didn't give them something of value. I mean, it may not have been a, a, a perfect book for for people, but it's a book that, um, you know, I think at least people got something from. My son is kind of dancing behind this camera there, so I'm a little distracted. Sorry, I told you this might be a hot mess. <laughs> we'll see. Um, can you think of a fiction book or any genre or of any genre that focuses on themes of kindness? I think I may have just given you my answer with the house and the cerulean sea, but let me think if I can think of another one really quick. I'm gonna put my thinking cap on. Okay, my thinking cap encouraged me to go to my keeper shelf and pull a book off. And that book is my favorite, my somewhat new as of this year, favorite book of all time, which is Mink River by Brian Doyle. 
This is um, set in a fictional but typical uh, town on the Oregon coast. And it's just a wonderful book about community, people helping each other as they're struggling. Um, you know, not, it's not just everything in here is kind, but the reactions to a lot of things are kind. These are real people with real struggles, but they still find the goodness within each other. And I just, this book just warmed my heart so much. Um, as I said, it is, I consider it my all time favorite book. Um, and a lot of that is for personal reasons because it's set in the, on the Oregon coast, um, which is one of my favorite places on the planet. Um, but I do think even if you aren't an Oregonian, <laughs> you can find some value in this book. Um, number six, how do you think you can make BookTube a kinder place, both individually and as a community? Um, I think I'm gonna give the answer that a lot of people are giving and that is to support other BookTubers. Um, I'm trying to do more by shouting out other BookTubers. Um, I'm doing my um, like drawing names and giving top of my, top of, off the top of my head, uh, book recommendations, which that's interesting. <laughs> but I do try to, um, I do try to make an effort to, to shout out um, other booktubers and make sure other people know about them. That's, I would say 95% of the people I follow on booktube are because I heard about them from someone else's channel. So there you go. And say some kind words. This is number seven. Say some kind words about one of your favorite booktube channels. Okay, well, there's Caitlin and Fanny's Books who created this, who is very sweet. Um, and her videos are just like she's talking to you. Like, I, I like the videos where you kind of feel like someone's just there in the room with you. Plus, she has a soundtrack of her dog, Luna, snoring, which is very sweet. <laughs> and then Hannah at Savage Reads. Hannah, like, she, she reads a lot of books that I recommend, which I think is really cool. And I, I, I like that because now I'm like, Oh, wow. I'm not just like shouting into the void about some of these books. And fortunately, most of them have worked for her. <laughs> so that's good. But she's, she's very good about telling, telling you where she heard about books and shouting out other booktubers. Let me see. I know it said one, but I will do one more. Um, I will do Leandra at Leandra the TBR zero, um, who is just effervescent. She's, she is so delightful to watch and she's just bubbly and fun and um, a little bit quirky in the best way possible. And I just, I love watching her videos. They're just, they kind of make me smile. So number eight, so make sure I did all these before I, <laughs> before I close this out. Uh, okay, number eight, share a new small booktube channel. So this was my homework. I did find one and this is, Nicole at Noteworthy Fiction. So I just found her. Um, she is, she does a lot of fun things. Like she, she did a, she did a very involved, I can't even describe it. Choose your TBR game. Like I watched it and I'm not even quite sure I understood what she did, but she had a very interesting TBR game. She is really into like, um, classic literature and, I try to read classic literature too, so it's fun um, listening to see listening to what she has to say about the classic literature. And I've really enjoyed the videos of hers that I have seen so far. Okay, number nine, tag some friends to spread some kindness. Okay, so this is one that I have not prepared. Sorry, um, I'm going to let's see. It's hard because a lot of people have already been tagged. Um, I am going to tag, hold on one second. Okay, back. I'm gonna tag three people. First, I'm gonna tag Mariandria at Books Apocadios. You should see her channel. Like she does a lot of like cookbooks and talking, talking about food. Um, and like, I'm so hungry after watching those videos. And she makes me want to cook, which is quite a feat, honestly. <laughs> So, uh, Maria Andrea, and then, um, I'm going to go Lori at books, ink and paper. So she's one that I actually found because we're both members of the currently reading podcast, Patreon. And, uh, she's, she is a delight to watch. <laughs> she, she just is, I've just been watching her vlogmas and, um, going through her books and sharing everything. And she always, she always has such a, she has such a great attitude about things and I, I love watching her videos. And then I'm going to go with Sui at Sui's Book Banter. So Sui, I've known since my blogging days. 
Um, and, uh, she's got, she's got a very, um, she also has a fun channel. She does, she's the one who started the five on Friday, although her videos are much slick, sleeker than mine are. Mine are kind of a mess. <laughs> that is her creation. Um, and I like, she also does videos where she just kind of talks about her thoughts about things. I like those videos where I hear kind of like what people are thinking about, sort of the topics that are going around on booktube. So there it is, the kindness tag. Thank you for hanging in with me while I do this late at night so I have something to put up on Tuesday. And I'm sorry about the snafu this week, but hey, you got an extra video out of it. I know that you all just live for my videos. But anyway, <laughs> like, subscribe, all that jazz. Join my Discord. Information's down below. It's an easier place to have a conversation with each other. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.